What's happening Coachella Valley? This is Craig Campbell for CoachellaValley.com and we have a very, very special treat for you guys today. We are here at the Humane Society of the Coachella Valley. You know, you could reach us here at, oh my gosh, hsocv.org for all the information that we're going to be talking to you guys about. Once again, this is Craig Campbell for CoachellaValley.com. What's happening is special edition here at the Humane Society and we're out here in Palm Springs, North Palm Springs, and uh, we're just going to start off with the show right here. This is Sheriff, you know, all the all the talk about COVID and shutdowns, and we just thought we'd bring out Sheriff right away. Look how beautiful you are. Hey, Terry, sure. Terry, tell me a little bit about this pup and uh, who he is. Well, poor Sheriff was just left in his front yard when the people packed up and left him and his roommate. Uh, he's been here about a year. And this is just a super chill dog. What you see is what you get. He's just got a very mellow personality, comfortable. Look at the people around him. Oh, Hasn't look at been you. been around a lot of people and real comfortable with it. You know, what we know about this place, nine acres, and this is a no-kill shelter, uh, which means that every pup and cat, I understand you've got uh, over 100 that are here. I walked through just a little bit earlier. They were so excited. Everybody was going crazy except for you, Sheriff, because you knew I was coming with treats. You were the first person that we brought out here. Are you looking for a home? Is Sheriff looking for a home? Yes, he is. Sheriff's, he's about five, five and a half years old. Um, super sweet, chill dude. He's super dog friendly, super good with new people, as you saw. Um, he's just just a chill guy. Oh, I'll look at him. <laughs> looking for a couch to relax on. So if you got one, this is your guy. So Callie, tell me what it is that, hey, why don't we go over here, get out of the sun or get in the sun. Uh, who else are we bringing out? Terry, who's coming? Well, my wife's up next. Let me see who she's got. <laughs> okay, great. Well, Sheriff, come on over. Come spend a little bit of time. Oh, hi. You know you're live right now on Coachella oh, Valley. Who hi. am I talking to? Uh, my name is Kim Hardy. Hey, Kim. What's going on? I'm just hanging out at the shelter. I'm the president of the organization. What? And Unbelievable. very happy that you're here. 1961, I hear this shelter was opened up. Yes, it was. It's pet orphan. That's unbelievable how far you guys have come. I walked through here. Uh, understand how much was it uh, that I was told John was telling me about food was it five thousand dollars a week no no we oh. have 81 dogs 81 and dogs? about 43 cats and it's the food run, range is about five thousand every six weeks okay five thousand every six weeks and one of the things that uh, the Humane Society could use obviously are donations Correct. all the time uh, not just you guys not just you puppies you donations oh look at you this is sheriff by the way if anyone's interested you could just go online and start an application. Isn't that the way you do it? Yes, you go online. You, you can actually come out by appointment only because of due to circumstances today of COVID. But you can come out, make an appointment, and then you can or go online and find a specific dog you'd like to see and then make the appointment. Either way, if you don't know who you want or what kind of dog you're looking for, you can just make an appointment and come out here. So you can actually uh, take a look at the dogs, most of the dogs online, and uh, if you're interested in one, uh, do they call you? Would you prefer a call, an email, a text? Either way, but mm -hmm. most likely <clears throat> it would be, if you're interested in one particular dog, the easiest way to do it would be to go ahead and start the application. Great, that's great. So, Sheriff is available. Yes, yes he is. And so being highlighted be because uh, he's such an amazing dog. Such a sweet hey, guy. Sheriff, come here. You know what? You're going to have to do some tricks if you want to get home to somewhere, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? I, told, I was told you're the most mellow relaxed dog ever look at you you're so pretty so you need a home don't you today so if anyone's interested in sheriff you can go right online and start an application we're here at the humane society this is craig campbell for what's happening coachella valley humane society of the coachella valley you can reach them also i love this website guys remember this orphanpet.com orphanpet.com i remember that or you can obviously go to the h s, -S ocv.org, the Humane Society of Coachella Valley. Uh, what's going on, Terry? Tell us a little bit more about, uh, we have another pup coming, or I uh, saw a hundred of them over there. What are they doing? Uh, we've got uh, a terrific one. Dino's on his way. We got to get uh, his ball out here because I think everyone's going to be amused by the Dino dance. I love when it. When he gets his ball. Not everyone can do that. You know, what you guys don't really see, and I'm just going to pan around a little bit on the facility here. Uh, right through, as, as you walk through there, are, are all the pups. You also have 40-some cats, you said, and they're also located in one location, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, they're I, located in our mobile um, 
in a mobile uh, facility? Yeah, well, a mobile home. Uh -huh. So it's a special house just for the cats. So, you know, I was asking you guys also a little bit earlier, is there, is there people that stay here? And John, the manager, uh, was saying that he actually does live here. And that's a 24-7 uh, taking care of these uh, precious animals. This is a no-kill shelter, which means that uh, these animals are here until someone adopts them or until they pass away, right? Correct. So why are you involved in this, you guys? This is, this is really a mission. It is a mission. I'm involved because I love animals and I love this facility. And we're the only ones in Coachella Valley that just, you know, always will take a dog, a large dog in. A lot of large dogs, unfortunately, other facilities will not take. So that's a big distinction. There are a couple other facilities, uh, Loving uh, for All Animals, and what else? You mentioned one other? Living Free. Oh, and Living, Living Free. Free does take dogs, and we work well with them. Mm -hmm. But most, most, uh, most 501c3 animal rescues, they have certain facilities. We're able to take large dogs because we have a large facility. We're able to have the room for them. A lot of them do not have the room. Who's this? So here comes Bat with Dino. Dino. This is Dino. Does Dino need a treat? Oh, yeah. oh hey, Dino. What's up? Uh oh, oh, hi there. It's so nice to get out, isn't it? Did you come to visit us today? They're very food motivated. So every dog that we're showing you today uh, is being highlighted. Uh, they can be taken home. As you can see, these are beautiful. Uh, they will just uh, fill up your bed, fill up your heart. Uh, what a great gift, maybe, for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I don't know what, how long the process takes. How long from the beginning to the end do you think it takes uh, for the adoption process? Um, the adoptions, it, it depends. We have to do a home check. We're one of the very few facilities that do do a home check. And because of that, we have very small returns. But the process is, is once they're neutered, spayed, microchipped, and vaccinated, they can be adopted. So it can take up to a week, depending on how um, the home check goes. If someone wanted to give you a call right now, how would they get a hold of you? Well, they would call us at 760-329-0203, and they can call and they can ask for an appointment. Uh, the best and the most efficient way to get a hold of us is through the website. They can say they want to come out and make an appointment. They can, if they like Dino, they can fill out an application from him, and then we can give the history of, of most dogs. We do have somewhat of a history on them. Look at this guy. What is happening here? You should get on in here and get in this love fest over here. Look at you. Here we go. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Come here. Want to play with your ball, baby? Oh. Can you throw a ball for him? I could throw a treat. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's off. Off and gone. Oh, He's looking for something else to do. That is the cutest thing ever. I've never seen that before. Oh. We're at the Humane Society here in Coachella Valley. Stay with us. Uh, we are live for what's happening in Coachella Valley, and we are going through several different dogs here that are available for adoption. You can start that adoption process on orphanpet.com. And uh, we're learning more about this facility. It's a nine-acre facility out here in uh, North Palm Springs. I'm going to turn myself around for just real quick. It's Craig Campbell for CoachellaValley.com. And here, we've got bringing Dino back to us. Oh, boy. So, spayed and neutered, uh, cats and dogs, big animals are uh, here. This is what we're highlighting today. Look at these beautiful animals. Did you guys know that adoptions for pets are up? But, of course, we still have a lot here uh, that needs your help. And so we're asking you guys to help and support. If you're interested in volunteering, you can, of course, go online and take a look at the information there. Uh, right now, during COVID, it's a little bit tough. There's been a lot of restrictions in being able to add people to the volunteer roles. But you can just see that we still need help out here, uh, donations and those types of things. These dogs are coming all the time. Uh, No-kill shelter means that they need to be adopted before we can make room uh, for other animals. Look at these beautiful, this is just, you're so pretty, you are camera shy. You're just a camera shy. <laughs> he is, like, not another one of those darn things. Oh. You know, we're here at the dog park, uh, you know, the place where the dogs obviously, you know, when we first came in here, some people were looking at adopting. And what was really cool is they were out here playing with the dog. Uh, it was so cute. I'm sure that dog is 
I wanted to adopt it. It was so beautiful. But look at this guy. Hey, Dino, I'm sorry you're not as uh, camera ready as we thought. We're going to work on that, though. We're working on it. Oh, so pretty. It's a beautiful day out here in the Coachella Valley. Um, so, Kelly, tell me a little bit about the volunteer program and the things that you're doing because I just think it's exceptional. I got you in the sun, don't I? There we go. Well, once we do start that up... You want to move out of the sun? Here, let's try this way. How's that? Better? Yeah. Okay, there you go. So we're still kind of working on that. I've had so many people ask me on, because I run the Instagram and the Facebook, so many people want to come out and volunteer. It's just we're, we can't right now because of COVID, which totally sucks because it's so good for the dogs. Um, just as far as socialization, you know, love. Um, so Instagram account, how, do, how what's the Instagram account? It's the Humane Just trying to get you out of that sun, just so you can relax. Great. There you go, perfect. All right. So they're both called Humane Society of Coachella Valley, the Instagram and the Facebook. Great. I mm -hmm. run both. Um, Fantastic. So I try to do lots of videos of the dogs so you can see how they are out here, how they are with people, you know, how playful they are, their temperament. Because in the cage, it's just, they don't show well because they're just, they're stressed, you know, and they're, they're that's their little area they protect. So it, that's just not the real them. So when we get them out here, it's, totally different dog it's insane they, they love it out here they love terry so how did you get involved in uh volunteering at the humane society um i moved up the street about three years ago mm -hmm. and i was like you know what i need to volunteer my time and i love dogs dogs are my life so i finally found this place and they were so welcoming they were like come on in i was walking dogs the first 20 minutes I was here and I had such a blast. My mom loves it here now. She's been coming for a long time. Um, well, the facility is so wide open. There's so much room for these animals. Uh, saw some empty empty spaces, which is always a good sign that yeah, uh, uh, that there is some available space. Uh, no kill shelter. Craig Cam before what's happening in Coachella Valley. We're out here, the Humane Society of the Coachella Valley. And uh, I'm with Callie. Callie is a uh, running the volunteers out here doing a lot of work and she's uh one in contact with us and getting us here along with terry and uh we are here in the dog park and we wanted to showcase a few animals uh for you guys we appreciate every one of you guys uh we'll be putting the information on the website and other information any comments that you might have please add them here uh easy to get a hold of them you can go to uh, hsocv.org or you can go to orphanpet.com I'm very and, responsive also on the Instagram and the Facebook so if anybody wants to send a message on either one of those platforms I get right back to you with whatever information I can schedule you an appointment for there I can kind of guide you through the process of you know the whole adoption any questions you guys have right now I know the wind's picking up a little bit I hope you guys can hear us uh, you can just go right there. You can go ahead and messenger her right on the Facebook page or Instagram and she's going to reply to you, get you the information that you need to get the process started. If you want to donate, uh, be uh, learn more about the Humane Society. This Humane Society has been here since 1961. Of course, it started off in a, a different format. Uh, but, you know, I don't know where our dog show is. It's like a fashion show. Uh, those models can be a little bit sketchy sometimes. Uh, we're going to go right over here and say hi one more time. Let's see how you feel about this camera. <laughs> is this your ball? Huh? So, this beautiful, beautiful. Terry, tell me more. This is Dino. He's yeah. not real big with the paparazzi. I can see that. Other celebrities are kind of like that. But <laughs> he's a private guy. Aww. Look at that. Just a big brute that's Aww. lovable. That's a really unique thing about this Humane Society. It's just they take the big dogs. Uh, and they're willing to take uh, animals and care for them and bring them back into a space where they feel safe and comfortable. I think there's not a lot of ca cameras around here, but Dino's gonna get used to it. It's okay. And what else you really need to share is the beauty of this property and how good the people that work here are with the dogs. It's just here, the dogs come first. It's all about them. And this is uh, not for show. This is how we live out here. They do it seven days a week, all the time, all day long, start early and go late. It's just 
this is a slice of heaven out here. You know, coming up, uh, going down the gravel road and just seeing the facility that's here, the nine acres out here, the windmills and uh, the beautiful San Jacinto Mountains that are just surrounding this place. You know, you come in and all the all the dogs, the the the, the pens are, are together. The dogs are alert. They're happy. Uh, you know, they understand they love their food. Uh, <laughs> you know, you can't change the food very much. But, uh, you know, that's the neat thing about what you guys are doing. Every little thing is considered uh, down to digestion, to their health, to bringing them back, and, and then ultimately finding them a forever home. And the crew here walks the dogs all day, every day. My wife walks 10 to 14 miles a day with dogs, even when it was 110, 115 out. Ooh, yeah, baby. Who is this? Hey, Beasley. Hey, Beasley. How are you? Oh, Beasley needs buddy. a little love. Oh, Beasley, look at you. You are so cute. So every dog we're showing today is available. You guys can start the process right there at orphanpet.com or you can go to hsocv.org and start the process. We're at the Humane Society here in Palm Springs servicing all the Coachella Valley. And uh, this is a no-kill shelter. That's what makes it special. Absolutely. And they take on these big boys and girls. And uh, every dog we're showcasing today is available. It means you could go right online right now, give them a call. You can message Callie on Instagram or on Facebook as well. Uh, you can leave us a note here. Uh, that's what it's all about. You can also donate. Uh, don't forget that the dollars, if you can't come down here and play with the animals, you could obviously add to uh, all the care and love in this facility and helping it to survive so these guys can survive. Beasley. Hey Beasley, oh, over here. Beasley, look at those hey Beasley, eyes. Beasley, look at you. Oh, look at that. oh, here you come. Here you are. Oh yeah. She's just a lover. Oh All boy. Day long. I don't know. Hard oh, to f hard to film you. You know? Beasley. Woo. Um, Beasley's been here probably for about maybe about, coming on maybe three years. Look she's, at this. She's about between about she's about five years old. Come on over. Come on over. Oh. Okay, Beasley, stealing wants, the show right now. Long. There we go. All she wants all day long. So what happens is that uh, the process is, is that once you uh, get this far, uh, you come to the park I, I, and you get to meet or greet uh, your potential pet. Is that right? This yes. would be a normal thing here. Derek is uh, taking a look at the pup. And if he was interested, uh, this might be what exactly happens, bringing the dog out here in that meet and greet. Absolutely. Now, do you guys watch uh, very carefully how all that uh, transpires? You know, you're looking for the interaction and just. Oh no, absolutely, yeah. Um, we don't uh, we don't like to just throw a dog on uh, usually customers and say, well, good luck. We like to make sure it's a good fit. We like to make sure they come in a few times to make sure they get to know the animal, make sure the animal's right for them and they're right for the owners as well. Uh, the process is a little bit longer than most shelters, but that's because we want to make sure that it works out and they don't come back. We want to make sure they have a permanent home for sure, always. Look at that face on Beasley. <laughs> huh? mm -hmm. Look at that. Hey Beasley, this? what do you think? What kind of home? What are we looking for? Three bedroom, two baths? <laughs> what is it? A condo? <laughs> Show me the love and I'll give you love back. How about, how the, about the backyard? Uh, anybody? Yeah. Oh, Beasley. You're going to have to show uh, Dino a little bit of uh, how to do the uh, camera work. Oh. Well, guys, you know, I was thinking, um, do you mind uh, if I walk through the facility a little bit? Just take a well, quick... We have the next dog. Oh, bring, bring it on. I, okay. I can just keep them going like Let's this. Let's just keep them going. Want. Let's okay, just do yeah, it. So we need yeah. Beasley back. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. So we have another pup that we want to show you. Uh, thank you guys for hanging around. This is Craig Campbell, Humane Society, Coachella Valley, out here in Palm Springs. And we're just showcasing a couple pups that are available. You know, you can go online to their website uh, very easily and you can take a look at all these dogs. They have pictures, there's videos on Instagram and Facebook. You can learn a little bit more about them. Hey there, see you later. Say bye, Beasley. Right, bye, Beasley. Beasley. See you in a few, Beasley. Come on, buddy. Love the dog park. Come on, buddy. Say what happened. Oh, you're good. You have a camera? Either of you have a camera? Can you check to see if this is working? Oh, who is this? this is ginger. Hey, Ginger. How are you, sweetie? Hi, Ginger. Hmm? Want to say hi? You want to check out everything? Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. Let's you get in the park and get used to it first. Oh. 
Hi there. Come on, come say hi, boo boo. Oh, cool. Hi there. Hi, yeah. hi sweetheart. Just How are you? Girl. Oh, look at you. So, what's your name? This is Ginger. Hey, she's Ginger. About two, I believe. Two um, years old, and she's available today. Yeah, she's a Doberman mix. Hi, dear. Mixed with something around here. <laughs> she's super sweet, super Aww. good with people, good with kids. She's a super sweet, Aww. sweet little girl. Hey, if you're interested in this pup, this fine, gorgeous animal, so gentle, so kind. <laughs> Orphanpet.com. And you can see more pictures and more action. Everybody's a little bit skittish of me. You know, I got this camera kind of sticking in their face. I'm not anybody they know. Yeah, they're more scared of the phone than me. I know. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Okay. It's like an extra eye maybe on them. Yeah, right. So. If you guys have any questions at all, just put them in the uh, comments here and we'll make sure to get back to you guys. We'll make sure we put the URL in there. If you have any interest at all in any of the pups that we've shown you, uh, Beasley, Sheriff, uh, Dino, and, and Ginger. More to come. And Ginger. And more to come. I'll give you guys another little pan around just to see this facility and uh, these amazing windmills that are out here. I'm just going to walk you around. incredible views out here I mean San Jacinto right there look at that nine acres uh, donated property 1961 is the beginning and the foundation of this incredible facility I'm just showing you really this is just the dog park right here a uh, very small part like I said it's nine acres and uh, right on the other side of this is where all of the uh, dogs and cats are uh, over a hundred dogs and cats here no kill shelter that means everyone's going to get a home or they're going to stay here and this staff walks takes care maintains all these animals uh terry here is uh, been bringing us out uh the pets and uh he knows everything how long have you been here um a year a year since covid started really I haven't wow. been back to chicago since wow and don't want to leave just just stopped into the uh coachella valley humane society and here you are I haven't left. There you Why go. Why would you want to be any place else? That's beautiful. So, so uh, really, a transplant from Chicago came all the way out here. Humane Society kind of drew you. Well, we were here. COVID started. My wife is a dog addict, and we haven't stopped. Unbelievable. It, you know what else? I think I should show you while we're here. Let's do is it. Some of our hard to adopt. Let's dogs. go for it. Let's just go. Um, Let's go check it out. I'm I, following you. Let's just go. You tell okay. me. I'm going to get on the other side. You can listen. No, on this side, just the microphone's here. Oh, okay. And then let's just keep talking. Tell me more. Well, uh, we have a strip down here called Indian. That's the the name of the strip. We, uh, we have Bruno out in there, one of my favorites. Bruno was born in the wild. It was part of a pack of 30 dogs that was rounded up. He's very shy and working with him every day. Now he's my buddy. He'll come out here and follow me around. He's leery of people at first, so if he backs off for you, uh, I'm going to move you to the left from here because okay. when the dogs start barking when we walk by, you're not going to hear a doggone thing, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Aw, Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Look at Hannah. Oh, look at Hannah. Come here, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Oh, look, look. You oh, you're so pretty. Now, Hannah, Hannah is also available today. You can see pictures of her on Instagram and Facebook and on the website. The look at this. That is like getting outside, just like me when I get out of my my condo and uh, and during COVID, I'm excited too. Look at this. Oh, Hannah. So tell me about Hannah, please. Hannah's about I think around eight or nine years old. Super friendly. She's would prefer to be the only animal in the house. <laughs> um, super affectionate, sweet girl. She's she actually knows a lot of basic commands too. She's just a good, good, sweet pup. She loves to cuddle, loves the dog park. She falls asleep over there. She, I mean, she's just such a joy. Loves Terry. Everybody loves Terry. Aww. She's got that bed head look that just won't go away. Oh, right? that is so true. <laughs> Aww. We think she's maybe a, a deer, is a deer hound? 
A deer hound. Deer hound Interesting. Mixed with terrier. I don't know. She, she looks like a hyena. Hey guys, if you're interested, this is Craig Campbell at the Humane Society here in the Coachella Valley. You can reach us at orphanpet.com or you can go to hsocv.org and you can start the adoption process to learn more. Uh, you could donate. This is a no kill shelter. Uh, and this is Hannah. Hannah wants to check out your place for Thanksgiving. Just happy to be with people. Woo. Happy to be here on Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll take you down to Indian after we finish up with Hannah. Okay, let's bit. do it. Okay. We're going to let Hannah run a bit, huh? We kind of roll with things around here. I like it. This is what lives are all about. You guys can stay tuned. We're just going to continue to feature these animals. We're at the Humane Society uh, hanging out here, and we'll be here for just a few more minutes. We hope you guys are enjoying the show. San Jacinto Mountains, we're at the dog park here. This is where you would meet and greet uh, your potential orphan pet. Uh, orphanpet.com, you can find more information. And wh what happened to Hannah? <laughs> we lost Hannah. Hannah took a detour. Uh, who's here? Who's coming here? Look at this. We have two new German shepherds that were uh, relinquished by their owner. They had a housing situation that's happened uh, since COVID happened. These Hi two were lovers. Blade uh, and Maximus. They're... Blade and Maximus. Which one is the black one? Maximus. Maximus. Hey, Blade. How are you, beautiful? Hi there, guys. Oh, whoa. Whoa. They do kisses. Oh yeah. Go down, you might get a kiss. Now, will these two go as a pair? They can. They're okay. brothers. They came in together. Okay, great. They were owner surrenders. Okay, so owner surrenders, and uh, they were displaced, and now they're here. Look at these guys. They're so happy. So happy to see people. Absolutely. I think Very this would be perfect for your family for Christmas, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. if you guys know uh, are interested. Uh, but what's really cool about this humane society is. Look at the beautiful size of these animals. And they take them in, they care for them, you can just see how happy they are. Yeah, you want to come home with me, don't you? Here we go. Oh. Gotta kiss everybody. Oh. Hello. Blaine and, uh, Blaine and Maximus. That one's Maximus. You guys can see pictures on Instagram, uh, Coachella Valley Humane Society, also on Facebook and on their website. Can see them in action, some videos and those types of things. Uh, we're showcasing some dogs that are all ready uh, to go home. Hey, Maximus. Hey there, baby. Come here, baby. Hi there. Hi there. How's that? How's that back rub, baby? This dog is just super chill, relaxed, all the time. It likes to have people walking in, a number of people here, and just had to come over and say hi to everybody. It's uh, real good about that here. If we did mix it up with the dogs, uh, we want them socially adjusted and just happy to be around people. I mean, yeah, when they came in, they were about a good. 10, 15, maybe a little more than that pounds overweight. Uh, we had to put them on a special diet to get them back down to the normal size they need to be at. Cause, uh, you guys have been on a fitness program, yes, I hear. No have. wonder you want to get out of I'm here. Avoid I mean, you know, yeah. uh -huh. I mean, let's just get on to some real food. But, I mean, uh, they have come to life ever since we've had them. They didn't really want to walk much. They didn't want to do much at all. But once we got them on the special diet, they have full life. We just came out of a whole new dog. Come here, baby. Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, look at this. Got a beautiful little husky coming up. Hey guys, thanks for visiting. Blade and Maximus, both available. Come on, guys, make this phone ring. Uh, go to the website, leave some messages. Uh, leave a donation if that's the way you want to help this facility. Nine acres. Since 1961, uh, this operation has been happening. We've been meeting staff and been having these dogs come in. Look, uh oh, look at this. Oh, how pretty are you? Mm -hmm. There we go. You like my mask? 
like to have. Oh. So this is Nova. Hey Nova. She's about two. She's an Akita mix. Um, Akita Shepherd mix, maybe. Super sweet. She unfortunately was a owner surrender. Their HOA changed. They couldn't have a large breed, so. How long uh, has she been here? About three weeks. Three weeks, guys. Yeah. And uh, she's available. This beautiful uh, Akita mix. Uh, you can see she's just going all the way to the edge there. She just thinking, yeah, I want out. Let's go. She was a great dog. They were all crying. They, you know, Aww. heartbroken to bring her back. But we're gonna find her a job. Woo. Get a girl, baby. Woo. Oh yeah. So we're at the dog park. Uh, this would be a typical way in which once uh, you you get through the application and they accept uh, that part of it, you would come here and meet her and get a chance to interact, get to see her uh, play in her own demeanor. Start with pictures on Instagram, Facebook, and on their website, and also videos of these dogs. Every dog we've shown you today is available. Hi there. Uh-oh. Got some things on her face. Yeah, Little slobber, you know, no biggie. Super good looking dog. She's awesome. Great disposition, energy, loves to play. Huh? Come on, baby. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that face. So you guys are live with Craig Campbell, Coachella Valley, what's happening? And we're here at the Humane Society of the Coachella Valley. And we're hanging out with this beautiful, beautiful, you want more treats? beautiful. Oh, I see. That's what you were trying to tell me. Can you see? Oh, look at that. Come. Can you shake? Shake. Oh, good girl. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this, uh, let us know. Uh, give us your comments. Talking with Callie here. Oh. <laughs> No dance. Come on. And Terry, as Terry said earlier, it's really all about the staff and the love, the care, the energy that they put into each one of these animals and their different temperament. And uh, you can just see the love. Uh, mm hmm. Dog park and treats. I mean, you can't get any better than that. Can't get any better than that. Riley? Tell me about Riley. You got, you got him? Talk to me about him. I don't know much about Riley. No? Um, he's very hyper. Woo! Grant? Every time I see him, he's going to... He's like a young puppy. He just really wants... Exercise and attention. Hi there. <laughs> there you go. So every puppy we're showing you today is available. Uh, you guys can take home. Start on the website. One of the cool things about the Humane Society here is you can just see we are showcasing the larger dogs today. Hey, beautiful. How are you doing? Oh, there we go. Finding the people. Everybody's camera shy today. What's this one's name again? Riley. 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 Hi, Riley. He's very young. He came in. I think he had a brother or sister. I can't remember if it was one or the other. Uh, the other one, got, they believe, got adopted. So he's the last one of his uh, his siblings. He's a good boy. Hey, save the best for last. Isn't that the way it always works, huh? Yeah. Oof. High energy. <laughs> uh, loves people. Oh, wants yes. to run all day long. There we go. Ooh, such a good boy. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this wonderful Saturday afternoon here in the Coachella Valley. We're here at the Humane Society. This is a no-kill shelter. That's what makes it super, super special. Open since 1961. Uh, you guys, I'm just repeating the information, uh, but uh, if you're just joining us, you can go to orphanet, I mean orphanpet.com and or you can go to the Humane Society, hsocv.org.
Instagram and Facebook under the Humane Society monikers as well if you're interested in learning more information about any of the pups that we've shown you today. This is Riley. Hey Riley, what's going on? Thanks for joining us. No mixed up? Yes. <laughs> Hi there. Oh. Belly. Sit. Belly. Belly, sit. Good boy. Oh. Good boy. Want to shake? Sit. Sit. Belly. Sit. Sit. No. Ready? Ready for the next one, or is that it? Yep. Okay. Let's see if you've got it. Big Max. Big Max. Oh, Big Max. I just like the name. I like the sound of that. We're just waiting on Big Max. Woo. Oh, look how beautiful this puppy is. Our sound, everything working okay? Yeah. Yeah. Any comments? Um, well, I sort of want to find Oh, who are you? This is Max. Hey, Max. Are you checking out everything? Look at you. You're so pretty. Come on in. Every pup we're showing you right now is available this is just a magnificent animal who is it max this is max max He's a one and a half year old german shepherd um, our trainer don's been working a lot with him He's a, he's a really good dog. He was basically a backyard dog for his whole life. So he he's not used to being touched by people. So it's all play but he could be a little mouthy. Sit. Sit. But he's really intelligent. Uh, just a really good dog. Hey, good punk. He needs to bond with someone strong. He needs to, yeah. 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 He would be best if there's no kids in the house. Just because he is really rough with the play. It is all play, but it can hurt. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> We're working on um, uh, working on him with it. Um, Hi he's, there. He's night and day difference from when we got him. And when we first came in, you're the only one that could go up next to him. Yeah, and for the over... first couple weeks, only I went in his kennel and handled him. Wow. I mean, it's amazing difference. I mean, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, you can see uh, he's checking out his surroundings and everything. And all these uh, dogs are camera shy. You know that? <laughs> they're not used to the eye <laughs> on the camera. Yeah, yeah. Look at them. <laughs> and oh, they're all excited. I know. This is a little bit out of the routine. Fantastic. Come here, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Hey. Come on, Max. It's very cool. That's it. That's it. Oh, there you go. Way to go, Max. Way to show off. Fantastic. So we've already had an application. What's her name? So Elizabeth, thank you so much for starting an application for one of these animals. And anyone else interested? That's exactly how to do it. Thank you for commenting. Uh, we're at the Humane Society. Look at this. Oh, look. Oh, Lance. Come, Lance. So you can see I brought my dog pet models with me. Uh, checking out the animals. This would be uh, pretty typical if this was who you were taking home today and you filled out the application and got to this point, you would meet these lovely, lovely animals in person at the dog park on this nine acre, uh, beautiful facility holding over a hundred <laughs> dogs and cats. Are we seeing any cats today? Possibly we can, yeah. yeah. Like large ones, like 40 pound cats? <laughs> Since we're talking about, it's a large animal Well day. then I think you should go in there first. <laughs> oh boy. So this is Lance, he's about a year, year and a half. Super friendly, um, super dog friendly. He actually didn't do bad with cats as well, so that's always There you nice. go. Um, so could could be at a home with a cat or yeah, cats? Yeah, super. He's not friendly at all. Look at him. He hates people. Uh -huh. <laughs> he thinks he's only five pounds. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. He still thinks he's a puppy, but don't we all? Yeah. We all feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy, baby. Hey guys, we're at the Humane Society. Thank you uh, for uh, trying to join in on the camera. I did try to uh, punch you in. I wasn't able to. Uh, we are just showcasing some of these large dogs. Today's Large Dog Day. This is Humane Society. No Kill Shelter does take large dogs. That's the unique 
uh, aspect of this. Over 100 animals uh, on this facility, and we are in the dog park, which overlooks, look at this, San Jacinta. We got the big windmills in the background over here churning, which I'm really loving. 24 hour uh, care on site. Uh, they actually live here on site, taking care of these animals, walking them, making sure that they uh, find a home or they are here, they stay. So I'm only showing you a limited area because this is where we're bringing in the pups outside of their pens and bringing them into the dog park, a little bit out of their routine. But we did want to showcase these beautiful, beautiful animals. So Derek, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on the spot real quick. Uh, so what do you think? I know you wanted to come out here and check out a few pups, so we brought you along. What do you think of this facility? What can you tell our viewers? Uh, I think it's awesome, man. You can tell the uh, staff here truly love the animals and love just being here and, and uh, being a part of this place. Uh, I know the one girl, she, she volunteers all her time here. Yeah, Callie. Uh -huh. She's uh, organized a lot of the social media. Um, the vol there, she's going to be part of the volunteer program. And uh, I just think it's awesome what they're doing here because I myself, I love dogs. And uh, yeah, I, it makes me want to want to get another dog. We have we have two, but... Uh, <laughs> Why not another? Well, I don't know. There we go. And who are you? Hi. This Hi. is Cody. Hi, Cody. It's just a camera. Cody can take a little while to warm up the Hi, strangers. Cody. How are you doing? Hi, Cody. Hi there, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hi there. He's a uh, four and a half year old Catahoula Mountain Cur mix. Excuse me? Uh, he's a four and a half year old <laughs> Catahoula yeah. Mountain Cur mix. Yeah. Um, we got him. Uh, I guess it's been a couple years now. He's been here probably a year and a half, two years. I'm just gonna go to this side so I can hear you. Mike on that side. Go ahead, keep speaking. Tell yeah, me. he's he's super playful with other dogs. Um, I have a really cute video of him and my dog playing today. I'll, I'll shoot it to Kelly to post on her Facebook page. So that's the thing, guys. You can take a look at these dogs in action. Uh, we got uh, video. We got pictures on site, online either Instagram at Humane Society Coachella Valley. You can also take a look at these pups online at orphanpet.com or you can go to the Humane Society HSOCV.org and take a look at these beautiful animals. We're showcasing uh, the big dogs today. Uh, no big cats. I don't think we're gonna bring in out the 20 pounder cats today, uh, but these dogs are beautiful. They've been uh, you know, brought back here. Either, either they've had to move because of economic situations or who knows, they all have an amazing story. Um, we've seen siblings, we've seen um, a dog that was a part of a pack, 30 people pack, who was brought in here and uh, look at this. These beautiful animals are uh, loving being here, but I think they'd be happier at your place for Thanksgiving. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happier at your place, Thanksgiving. If you guys have any comments at all, let us know. Uh, you can call the facility. You can message the Facebook page, message the Instagram. They're going to be very uh, responsive to anything that you guys are putting out there. Uh, this is a no-kill shelter. Obviously, donations and everything that you could think of, imagine, to help and support them. Uh, a lot of food and a lot of bills to pay for this incredible facility and maintaining these lovely, lovely, lovely forms of life. You can tell they're pretty well adjusted to people paying pretty nice. attention to them. They get pretty nice. Very well taken care of out here. Come on out and come see us. It's that cool a place. It really is. Now, a little bit of a uh, tough to do that uh, during COVID, but if you are serious about an application, want to learn more or see these animals, you can make an appointment. And there are ways in which uh, they can work you in, just like everything here. I mean, the key here is we're trying to find homes for these beautiful animals and keeping this facility up and running and alive uh, so these beautiful, beautiful animals can uh, find a home that's perfect for them. Hi, what's going on? Yeah, one more. That'd be great, one more. If you have not or not, we're okay, we're good. Oh, there we go, we want one more. We all want one more. <laughs> Yes. If you would like, I would like Callie to take you around so you can just do a span of yes. the facility. Yes, I would love to do that. Okay, yeah. and then she can show you 
that's that would, great. That would be I would great. love to show everybody uh, that's watching. I think they would like to see it. It's just really amazing. I know all those dogs are going to go crazy, and I love that part. <laughs> they're well, live. They're just telling me they're there. Why Callie's going with you by yourself. Oh, I got gotcha. you. The dogs won't bark. They won't be good. They may bark at you, but they won't bark at I Callie. I see. Well, they're, they're definitely so bark at me coming in. <laughs> hey, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Who? Who is this? Jack. Jax. Oh, he loves those, loves the dog. Oh, Jax. Oh, Jax. <laughs> 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 Woo! Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Let's watch it. So, uh, this is the dog park. They know what's going on at the dog park. Uh, they get out here. Look at this. Woo wee. Oh, oh, where's the balls? Where's all the other dogs? Oh, squirrel. This is Jax. Jax is out here. Jax is available. Uh, Jax is ready to come to your house for Thanksgiving to explore. I would say you need a yard. <laughs> Might be a good idea, right? <laughs> Jax is a good boy. He's about four, four and a half years old. Um, shepherd mix with something large. Super sweet guy. Shepherd mix with something large. It's a new breed uh, out here in uh, Palm Springs. He's very trainable. Yes, he did really well with training. Um, he does yeah. really well with dogs. He Who are you? Like we haven't said hi. Oh, I'm Bets. Hey, Bets, what's going on? I'm a volunteer here. Fantastic. And uh, I love all these dogs, and they're, they find a place in your heart, every single one of them. So we hope we find uh, really good homes for them. Aw, we're going to. They're you know, great. we already had people filling out an application on the live. Uh, so know. we hope that oh, that continues on. So we're, we're oh, they're look at, look, going for the big ball over there. Hey, Jax. Come here, baby. Come here. Jax, come here. Oh. So I think that while Jax is moving around and having some fun, look at this. Oh, look at that. Joining them at the table like a friendly. Just giving you some love. So you were going to show me a little bit of the facility. Uh, I think that we'll leave Jax here for a moment. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> hey, this is good live right now, guys. Dogs in action along with uh, staff here at the Humane Society. Okay, shall we? You want to show me? No? Okay, we're going to go take a, a walk around a little bit. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, Jax. Hey, Jax. You ready? So I'm just going to take a quick walk through, guys, uh, show you the rest of the facility. Now, all these dogs will be barking at me because they don't know me. <laughs> if Callie walked through here by herself. Uh... Okay, so go ahead and talk real right here. You know, Aww. Aww. Because we are a sanctuary, so some of them we do have until they pass away. And Aww. So we have them. Hey guys, help us help us not have to bury another beautiful soul in uh, this sanctuary. Although I really love it here, it's nice. I I see the uh, some pets and some flowers and different things that are here, just uh, representing these beautiful souls that lived here. Terry's I think that's fantastic. To... Yes. This is a dog Terry's been working with for oh, about six months. Who is this? He was actually a, a wild dog. This is Bruno. So this was a wild dog? Yeah. Bruno. We have him and his sister. He's gorgeous. Oh. Absolutely. I could, stay from, I could stay from here if he'd be more comfortable. He's coming a little closer. Okay. He's, he's getting a lot better. Oh, you are so beautiful. Cool. And what is your name? This is Bruno. This is Bruno. Hi, baby. So you're a wild dog, and you look like you've been fed well though. <laughs> you look like you've uh, found uh, some of the fun at home. Yeah, he's Aww. a good looking boy. How is it? Bruno's probably around two and a half. So, I guess he would be around three years of age. Okay, about three years old. He's a lot used of... to his routine. Um, he's used to the staff and the volunteers he sees on a daily basis. Um, 
we do believe he's adoptable. It just takes a person that is willing to put in the effort. And well, Terry's Terry's been here a year, and you can see just the you know the comfort and able to move around. We're we're a lot of uh, commotion and a lot of new people. You and know? that's the whole you know, thing. We so brought several people. Big and difference between him and Terry hanging out, and then you being here at the camera. Correct. So a lot of the shaking you see is actually because of that. Um, well, we don't want to put too much stress on you, so uh, we'll just continue on. Okay, thank you. So this beautiful nine-acre facility, uh, John is the uh, manager here, yep. hanging out every day and every night. Every day I live on property. You're a dedicated man. <laughs> thank if you, you want to know you. where John's at, I just told you. <laughs> There's no hiding. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to just show you guys and give you a little quick run through here hey guys everybody's adoptable or they've been adopted so make sure you fill out those applications we saw you earlier today Dino we saw you earlier today yes well thank you so much thank you for protecting yourself so so there's 43 yeah. cats in in the cat house. Yeah. Usually when you hear that there's 43 cats in a house, it's not good. Yeah. So tell me more. <laughs> Come over here. Tell me more. I'm sorry. Tell me more about the uh, Barry Cat Rescue Center. So the Barry Cat Rescue Center was um, donated by a longtime board member, Ann Barry. Um, I started here in 2001, and she was here a long time before me. So inside are the cats, and they have their own area and spaces, I Yeah, assume. so they, they have designated rooms. Um, they go in at night, and during the day, we open up the cat house. Normally, because of some um, construction projects in our office, right now we're kind of using the front room for some small dogs. Mm -hmm. So Very cool. Yeah. So the original cat house. <laughs> Alrighty, so look at this. Uh, all of uh, where you don't, where the pens are empty, uh, it means there's space or it's allocated already for other shelters. Tell me a little bit more about when we see, when we walk by and we see a cage that's open or a home that's open here. Uh, so basically, these kennels, the dogs are just in the kennels or getting locked. But the row of kennels over there, that's where we put our new dogs for intake just to make sure they're healthy and then as kennels open up we move them into general population so we do have about i don't know eight empty kennels right now eight empty kennels so yeah. um if you guys you know if there's a need this is uh what they do they're going to take in animals that need uh to be taken in and there is some space to be able to do that and arwen's is going to be open because she just got adopted she just, oh Ar Arwen just let's, see that on there. let's do that that's why i missed out on first half Oh, I mean the one that uh, that yeah, was here when we saw. first got here just got adopted. Yeah. Let me tell you, I'm going to tell you when we came here, uh, there was an entire family and they had were meeting her, and what a beautiful, beautiful animal. Like all the ones we've shown you, uh, obviously a special uh, heart uh, in their heart for her, and uh, now she's adopted. So that story could be your story. And uh, we need more people to come out here and adopt these beautiful, beautiful animals. What else you got? I want to see more. Yeah. So I'm here with John and Callie of uh, the Humane Society, Coachella Valley. Thank you guys for having me out here. Thanks for having Thanks, Terry, Thanks for, for everything. Out. Thank you so much. Incredible nice job. You. Beautiful. Amazing job. Come on back out. We're Wait. going to. All right. So a lot of these uh, these big artificial turf pens, as well as these dirt kennels, we rotate dogs out when we clean their kennels. So they get about 20, 25 minutes out of their kennel every day just to run. Plus, they're on top of that, their daily walks. So yeah, when we you know, clean their kennels, we get a large space to run and stretch out in. So they are empty, but they're used for that purpose. So they're a little bit bigger facilities that they can get the little uh, room and... Yeah, they're all different shapes, so some of them are three times the size of this kind of... Very cool. Shapes and sizes. So the intakes are all the way over here. Get it here. Uh, way over there. And they bring them in and get them acclimated uh, kind of before 
bringing them into the, yeah. as you guys say, the population. Section, yeah. Give them a few days, make sure they're nice and healthy so they don't spread it around. And once they're good to go, then we place them somewhere and get them comfortable. And they start to kind of relax. And when they first come in, you know, they're a little shaken up for whatever the situation is. But everyone works with them and by like two second or third day they're usually a lot more relaxed which is nice to see too because they're just it's sad when we see owner surrenders it's heartbreaking but then once we all work with them they really come out of their shell so that's that's really awesome to see like the whole process and then you see them get adopted and it's like oh my gosh so it's it's, it's really rewarding being out here you know What else? We good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up. What do you think? Yeah, I think we're good. Hey guys, I just want to sit there and say this is Craig Campbell for CoachellaValley.com, and uh, I've been here with John over here. He's been taking care of all these amazing animals. Stays here, and Callie uh, really doing a great job with all the volunteers and thanking her so much. Uh, we thank you for this facility and allowing us to come in here and showcase this. We hope you guys have learned a little bit about the main society of Coachella Valley and where we are. Uh, you can find us once again. You can go right over to orphanpet.com or you can go to hsocv.org, HS, Humane Society of Coachella Valley, hsocv.org. And uh, you can start an application. You can donate some funds. You can learn a little bit more about this amazing facility. I'm going to pan around. You guys just hang out. Look how beautiful uh, this nine-acre facility is here. Um, we need this. We need this in our valley. We hope you guys support this, and we hope you guys have learned something uh, about it. And thank you so much for joining us. Uh, all the dogs you saw in this video, because I know people will be watching it later on, uh, are adoptable and available today. Craig Campbell for Coachella Valley. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.